Dry Hall earned perhaps the most notable victory of his career on Saturday when he sent Anderson Silva perhaps into retirement with a fourth round TKO win in the UFC on ESPN plus 39 headliner in Las Vegas. A huge win for Hall. He definitely started a little slow in this fight. Silva was getting the better of him early on, but when he connected late in the third round, that spelled the beginning of the end. He dropped Silva, nearly finished the fight, and then early in the fourth was able to score another knockdown, ending the fight at that point. He has now won three consecutive bouts in the middleweight division. For Hall, he did get a little criticism about his output from UFC president Dana White but I think from a outsider standpoint he seems to be clicking as good as ever at this point in his career he's won three in a row as I said and it all coincides with his move to the Dallas-based Fortis MMA team under coach Saif Saud they seem to have a good connection there and it seems to be working well for Hall in the cage of course not a ton of talk post fight about what's to come for him Rightfully so, a lot of the narrative directed towards Anderson Silva, but I think Hall has put himself in a good position to get another big fight in the middleweight division. Let's not forget, he was supposed to fight Jacare Souza at UFC 249 in Jacksonville before Jacare tested positive for COVID, and he was also supposed to fight Yoel Romero in a main event in August. And that fight fell apart as well when Romero pulled out. So, of course, with these three bookings this year, Jacare, Romero, Anderson Silva, UFC clearly thinks quite highly of Uriah Hall. And I could see him getting another big fight there. Uh, we don't exactly know what the future of 185 is. Israel Adesanya seemingly moving up to 205 to fight Jan Blahovic. Uh, what's going to happen with the belt after that, we don't really know. But I think Uriah Hall not really contending for that title in the next fight. I think he needs probably one more to really get in that discussion. If I'm him, I look to revisit that fight with Yoel Romero that we were supposed to see in August. I think that was a good matchup. Would have been a telling matchup with the wrestling aspect. Of course, Yoel Romero doesn't use that a whole lot, but if he can bring that type of option to the table against Hall, I think it would be curious to see what his ground game is like at this point. And then them two striking it out would be very, very compelling as well. Of course, Uriah Hall, very good at that point. Yoel Romero, plenty of knockouts in his own right. So if we can get these two matched up at some point next year, I think that's a huge fight for 185. If Izzy is gone, that puts Yoel Romero back in the title discussion as well. A big win for him can lead to another title shot potentially. I think that's a best matchup to make after Uriah Hall's victory over Anderson Silva on Saturday.